Well, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, but uh, I wanted to do this video because I'm meaning to do this video because I love chocolate. I love eating chocolate, all kinds of different chocolate, milk chocolate, uh, dark chocolate, pralines, uh, you know, all of them, truffles. Chocolate though is a very, very difficult note for me and I have 12 fragrances here that are chocolate or cacao dominant. Uh, there's one that everybody knows about which happens to be my least favorite chocolate fragrance and it's not here because I don't like it and I used to own it and I no longer own it. But if you wanna find out what my favorite chocolate fragrances are, there's 12 of them, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time landing on my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances and discovering new brands, participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. As I said, I love chocolate fragrances, but chocolate can be very, very tricky for me. The several first ones that I tried, I did not like. So I've been very, very cautious with chocolate. But there are several that I like. There are ones that I hate. One of the ones that I hate is Montal's Chocolate Greedy. For some reason, that fragrance did not work with me at all. To me, it smells like rotten toasted bread with chocolate. Go figure. Strange combo, but there's this toasty uh, nuttiness in that fragrance that just didn't work with me at all. But there are other gorgeous ones here. And since tomorrow is Valentine's Day, I thought I'd put together 12 of my favorite chocolate fragrances. And in fact, we have chocolate and or cacao. Sometimes we have both notes together. So here, we're gonna go ahead and start off things with one fragrance called Chocolate Matte Masaki Matsushima. I don't know if you know this brand, but this is a J Japanese French house. Uh, I think it's distributed by the folks uh, that distribute uh, Jacques Fat and things like that. So this is from their own lineup of uh, distributed brands. But I actually found this at a TJ Mac, uh, TJ Maxx uh, several years ago, probably two years ago, and I really uh, love it because it smells like really, really yummy chocolate. But what we have here are not only chocolate notes, but we have cacao, musk, coconut, and we also have some woody notes and fruity notes. And the fruity notes go into the blackberry cassis territory and also watermelon. Uh, it's really, really delicious. To me, it smells like a really delicious, creamy, almost Nutella like chocolate rather than uh, going full-on Nutella because Nutella has um, hazelnuts or uh, you know filberts uh, with the, the, the chocolate there so it doesn't go in that territory but it almost goes there minus the the nuttiness of the hazelnuts so it's really delicious if you can find it I picked this up for about $12 at a TJ Maxx as I said but if you can find it get it because it's a really really delicious chocolate perfect to wear on Valentine's Day so that's chocolate matte from Masaki Matsushima next up is a fragrance I reviewed on this channel with Rachel one of my guests last year. It's Pink Champagne Truffle from Pana London. Now this one is really, really delicious with dark, dark chocolate and there's the cured note and there's a, of course a raspberry note. You get the pink uh, from there and then there's also rose in here. But to me, this is a really beautiful combo of lots of dark chocolate with a boozy note, liqueur note. So um, it gives you the experience of biting into truffles with, you know, chocolates with raspberry liqueur or fr raspberry fruit in it. It's very, very delicious and I think this is really really perfect for Valentine's Day because you're used to eating those kind of little chocolatey treats for Valentine's Day and this is actually that experience brought to life in perfume. So if you don't know this, this is awesome. I did, like I said, I reviewed it, check out my review. We did a full bottle giveaway of this as well and we had a lucky winner. And uh, so check it out. It's a, it's a great, actually this is a great, great um, uh, line of fragrances, but this happens to be my, uh, my favorite. There are a few others. So if you don't know the house, check them out. It's Pana London and it's Pink Champagne Truffle. So next up, we're going to the house of Guillain and this is Elixir Charnel Gourmand. Coquin, this one right here recently acquired and I'm absolutely head over heels for this with this one it's a truly delicious chocolate fragrance with of course cacao but you also have some boozy touches with rum you've got vanilla you've got some spices rose and some black pepper it's truly delicious but it doesn't have that intensity sometimes you want with uh, some of these fragrances it does seem a bit thin but if you don't mind things like that and you want a really truly delicious fragrance this is quite 
delicious. It's really, really delicious actually. And this, I don't know if there are fans of this line or this particular fragrance, but this is probably the best one in this whole collection. There's a few others that might border gourmand, but this I think is the one that's the most gourmand in this collection. And it's absolutely delicious. And I think this is the kind of experience I want on Valentine's Day, eating chocolates, perhaps with liqueur and vanilla and things like that. So this is Elixir Charnel Gourmand Cocon from Guerlain. So next we go into the house of Nishane, and this is Passion Choco, this one right here. So this one actually is really delicious, actually. Uh, it was not a love at first sniff because when I first sat, sampled it, I had a hate for chocolatey fragrances, but I've opened up to it. Um, and the reason is because I got really burnt out on that Montal chocolate greedy. Just do not like that fragrance for some odd reason. It just really rubbed me the wrong way. But I've really come full circle with this one and I really love it. It's dark chocolate, passion fruit. You've also got coffee, vanilla, musky notes, uh, resinous notes of benzoin and some other floral and spicy notes, but a truly beautiful fragrance. Really, really delicious. Perfect, perfect Valentine's Day fragrance. If you want delicious gourmand fragrances, this is definitely one to try. The only thing I can say is this one is not as beast mode as their other fragrances, but I can see that with um, fragrances in the delicious gourmand type category and of course chocolate. Uh, I think it's still pretty intense, but it's not like overwhelmingly intense, if that makes sense. But it's really, truly, beautifully delicious, and I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. So check out Passion Choco from Nishane, another awesome chocolatey fragrance that is perfect to wear for Valentine's Day or even any other day that you want or crave chocolates uh, as a perfume. So next we're going to the house of Tom Ford, and this happens to be pretty much a staple with any perfume collector. I mean, it's a love it or hate it kind of fragrance, but a lot of people love this one. And this one uses Mexican chocolate in the dominant notes for the chocolate note. This is Black Orchid. Now this one is really delicious, but to me, it is chocolates, it is dark chocolate after all, but you have so many other notes that it doesn't stand out as being like a true chocolate uh, fragrance, if that makes sense. So you've got that dominant note and it's in there, you can kind of spot it and experience it, but it's blended with like other notes, like a, uh, it's got tuber in it, uh, truffles uh, from the ground, of course, patchouli, orchid, of course, it's called black orchid. You've got vanilla, smoke or incense. You've got spices and uh, fruity notes and amber, just a, a uh, concoction of lots of different notes coming and going to make this like really unique um, a cornucopia of notes that you experience. And again, the chocolate doesn't stand out as much as I said, but it's there when you like really uh, kind of study the smell and you can pick up the dark chocolate in there. It's a Mexican chocolate, as I said. Really beautiful fragrance from the house of Tom Ford. It's Black Orchid. So next we're going to the house of Dame Perfumery and this is Chocolate Man, which I've reviewed on this channel. And this actually really, to me, smells like Nutella. Um, honey Nutella, sweet Nutella. Um, I, as a kid, really loved Nutella, eating it and actually spreading it on bread and eating it with bread because I grew up this, with this stuff and it was really delicious. And when I smell this one, it brings back those memories of those days I used to spread you know, Nutella on the bread and eat it. And this is really chocolatey. Chocolate Man, I mean, the name Chocolate Man is uh, kind of, I guess because it's targeted to men and this is the men's collection, that's why it has the name man, but I think this is truly unisex. Don't be shy if it says man on it. Uh, women, you can totally wear it. I think it's perfectly unisex. It's really, really delicious too. But it really does smell like nutty chocolate, Nutella with uh, hazelnuts or filberts. And then it also has a little bit of a toastiness as well. Not like Chocolate Greedy, um, whereas Chocolate Greedy uh, came off kind of uh, synthetically sharp with that toastiness. This one is very, very smooth. The chocolate is really, really beautiful. I think this is one of my favorites from this house, uh, next to New Musk Man, which is my favorite. And this one actually is uh, close behind. Chocolate Man from Dame Perfumery is another one for you to try. So now we're going into a little bit of a territory of chocolate or cacao notes with not necessarily too truly gourmand. And this is from the house of Orto Parisi, and this is Bocanera. This was a recent acquisition for me that I've been wearing, and it's kind of reminding me of Pardon, which also has cacao or chocolate or dark chocolate, but this one is so ultra woody and spicy because you've got a dominant chocolate note, a dark chocolate note, and then you also have sandalwood. You've got some peppery pimento in here, spicy black pepper. There's a little bit of a zingy ginger in here and then muskiness from uh, some musk in there. But when you smell it, it's kind of like the best of 
chocolate or dark chocolate with woody sandalwood along with that spicy pimento. It's, it's, it's nothing like overwhelmingly uh, groundbreaking, but it's a great scent. I, I like that about it. It's just, you know, a chocolate and uh, woody notes. That's pretty much all you're gonna get with this one. I'm not necessarily sure if it could make a Valentine's-y kind of experience. Uh, but it is dark chocolate. So that's Bocanera from Orto Parisi. And speaking of Pardon from Nasomato, these two are the same perfumer. And this is Alessandra Gautieri who did both of these fragrances. And Pardon is another one with dark chocolate, but this one has oud and sandalwood, tonka bean, cinnamon, a magnolia, and some um, floral notes. But it's a gorgeous scent. Beautiful. It's more oud to me than dark chocolate, but you have the chocolatey coating all over it. I mean, it's almost equally uh, balanced with the um, the chocolatey notes, but it's more oud for me. Um, it, it is unique fragrance. It's probably my second or third favorite from the house of Nasamato, but I wanted to highlight this one because it does have dark chocolate in it, and this is all about chocolatey fragrances. So this is Pardon from Nasamato. Next, we're going into a little bit of an animalic territory from the house of San Marco, and this is Bon Tea, this one right here. This one's all about cacao, lots of cacao with an equal amount of castorium. So this is animalic, so if you like animalic, fragrances and gourmands and you want them together this is definitely one to try it's not ultra animalic but it is there you definitely notice it so that chocolate does come off a little dirty but there's also a beautiful patchouli in here some tonka beans and a little bit of vanilla with some um, osmanthus so there's a little bit of a fruity touch uh, fruity floral touch with this in, as well but what's dominant is the cacao, the dark chocolate note in here, along with the castorium. So you've gotta love animalic notes here, and it's intense. It's delicious, actually. It smells great, but that castorium might be a little too overwhelming for somebody, but it can make for a really, really sexy, delicious chocolate fragrance. So if you don't know Bon Tea, check it out. It's from the house of San Marco. Next, we're going to the house of Al Rehab. Yes, I'm talking about Al Rehab, and this is Chaco Musk, this one right here. Now, this one I've had for a long time in my collection, and it's absolutely delicious. But to me, even though this has a dominant dark chocolate note with vanilla, musk, sandalwood, cinnamon, amber, spices, myrrh, and rose, to me, the chocolate doesn't come off very chocolatey. Uh, it feels like it's more milk chocolate and more of a latte rather than uh, like full on in your face chocolate, if that makes sense. To me, it's, it's kind of like um, caramelly vanilla with musk, not necessarily strong chocolate. But still, there are touches of chocolate in there. You can pick it up and it's really, really delicious. It's really, really musky and very, very inexpensive. I don't know if you can get the bottles, but the, the roll-ons are very, very inexpensive. Check them out. And this is from an inexpensive house that has really awesome uh, fragrances. Um, this is one of their best, I think. It's really, really co cozy and perfectly sexy for a Valentine's Day. So this is Choco Musk from Al Rehab. A few more left. We're going to the house of Atelier Cologne and this is Cafe Tuberosa. Now this one is all about coffee, but you have another equally dominant note of cacao uh, and chocolate in here. Really delicious combo of chocolate and then you have cacao. And then you also have rose and tuberose here. So you've got floral notes along with those gourmand notes. It's a Great, 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 great gourmand fragrance, but it has this uh, boost, like the energetic boost of the caffeine coffee in here uh, that gives it an energizing experience with that uh, note, along with the uh, chocolate, of course. But it's very, very floral. It kind of hints at Intense Cafe or uh, Mancera's Vani, uh, Vani, um, Rose's Vani and a few other fragrances similar, but this one, as I said, goes a little chocolatey along with the coffee and the tuberose and the rose. Really delicious, Cafe Tuberosa from Atelier Cologne. And then last but not least, we're going to the house of Laurence Dumont, Les Centures de Gourmands, and this is Vani Chocolat. Now this one's really, really great, great release. Could perhaps lean a bit feminine because to me, even though this is vanilla and chocolate, lots of vanilla, lots of chocolate, and there's also a big dominant patchouli note in here, and guess which direction it goes. Very, very well-known ladies fragrance, groundbreaking fragrance from the early 90s. It smells like angel. So the patchouli is pretty potent along with the chocolate and the vanilla, um, but really delicious chocolate. There are differences, of course. It's not identical to angel. This one, the chocolate actually is really 
really amped up uh, with the vanilla, whereas the other one had other fruity notes, the Angel, if that makes sense. But Angel has been really been copied and ex explored and redone in many different ways. And here in this house, they've done a great job with it. It's really, really delicious, but as I said, it might lean a bit feminine. But if you like M Gourmands and you like Mugler's fragrances, you will definitely like this one. And these are really inexpensive if you can find them. They're probably about $30, $40 for a bottle. In fact, in Europe, they're about 22 pounds for a 100 ml bottle, so really inexpensive. So there you have it, 12 delicious chocolatey fragrances for Valentine's Day. I love chocolate, I love to eat it, and I love to smell it, and I love gourmands, and these are my favorite chocolate fragrances. I know there are others out there that I don't have currently, that's why this was never going to be a top 20 list, but these are my favorite chocolate fragrances, perfect for Valentine's Day. So guys, are you into chocolate as a note for fragrances? Do you like gourmand fragrances? If there's something here that you have, let me know, put a comment down so I find out if you're fans of these fragrances. And also, if there's something missing that I did not mention that I should check out, please put it down as well so that I can find out and I can explore it in the future to have it featured in this uh, channel on a video or something. Other than that, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please list below. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.